whiz by. Finally. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse log jigsaw puzzle? Of course. I'm making an axe. Nice to see you, Shiva. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that... Treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. What, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with a bow in the lake bed, and that fort sporting the trident above the waterfalls. I suppose I should have asked about the dregs before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. <laughs> Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back to where we came. I would have made you dodge the axes.
take that and order first. Roger that. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way. And then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. We might have company ahead. Look up there. Parashrama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashrama. Parashurama. Parashurama. Right. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Once more, with gusto. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. <clears throat> Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. Huh? Hey. 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 The boys really don't want me shooting from down here. That's it. We're clear. Probably alert to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. There, on the mountain! 
Here come the others. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last one. There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. <sighs> Would have preferred a head start over a sod. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Considered. We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was gonna say. <laughs> Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that should do it. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. 
I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Uh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm hmm. Oh. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Nice and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname, either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, this is open now. Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Hathar fight over it. None of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asad? <laughs> Definitely a cash trip. Hardly worth the trouble. Ow. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful 
start here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, oh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. Rebels beat us here. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not yet. I've got your back. Waiting on Cobra Let's just keep this quiet as long as we can. What was that? I will watch your back. Hey, they are right here! That's a lot of them. You all right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. And how 
about you. That's two. Only one left. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> One trident coming up. Hell, that's not fair. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. Let there be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. Showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want Asav to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like the thing. No one does, love.
Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. Need to learn what short <coughs> controlled burst means. Right. And lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I mean serious. <coughs> anywhere else out there. Now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, your kick-ass reputation has got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline? I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. I've still got this place covered. Into a set. Nice one. No problem. I get you into danger, I get you out.
Here we go. Shall we? Right behind you. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this point. Sassy. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. <sighs> Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. But that's how the Persians got in. <sighs> I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. Should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm. Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? <laughs> Come on. Hard to believe it's real. Imagine what it took to make this. The craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. <laughs> 